everybody. Hi, it's Arthur, and look who it is, Linda G. Oh, oh, Linda G. Or as I call her, Dot. Dot. Because I had that Dot, which you, actually healed pretty fast. You look great. I was shocked. You don't look at day but, but you know, th th this thing doesn't, you can't see. I have some H spots right here. They're gone. Good for you. Yeah. Well, but I do have people looking at me. Hey. And you know, that's a tax write-off. Is your name Linda G? Most oh. of that stuff should be a tax write-off because you're a personality. Yeah. Uh, Frank, uh, my name is Frank Mar Mo Frank Moore. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were Linda G. No, I'm just kidding. People anyway. are so kind. I got to tell you, this community is just, it rocks. I can't, I mean, as people know, I was sick for about three weeks. Yeah. And everyone was writing just once I told them. Once they felt, that's like me. I had to be careful about saying I was sick because I got so inundated with well wishes god bless them but i remember buying so much stuff i finally just didn't remember why i bought this particular essence of something it's supposed to help something everybody was giving recommendations and i'd go on amazon and buy it i got overwhelmed with it yeah um yeah the, but i have had some people calling and saying you know i know a healer friend i said i have a healer friend and she, that's why I didn't die in 2020. Yeah. I was in bed for three months with a collapsed lung and pneumonia. Oh. And lost my eyesight. And doctors couldn't figure it out. And they had no name for it. And it was before COVID was announced. Yeah. I started in December of 2019, right after Christmas. You could have died. Well, and I've had pneumonia a number of times as a kid. So I'm your, prone to your it. lungs are. And I told yeah. the doctors, this this feels different. It feels like it's getting my lungs are getting solid. And then I took my oxygen test and it was 73%. So I called a healer friend. That's an mine. emergency. I know. I called her and she just said, you know what? This is the most exotic thing I've ever seen. It's a virus, but we can work with it. And we did stuff for three weeks. Yeah. Went back to the doctors. I said, oh, it looks like all the meds we have you want are working because things are like starting to break up. I said, I'm not taking anything. I'm working with a healer. Okay. And they thought, ooh, woo, woo. But yeah. only one of them said, what's your name and number? <laughs> well, they're doing autopsies on a lot of post-COVID. Mm -hmm. They're finding these weird white colored, um, you know, uh, clots. Mm -hmm. They're white throughout in the lungs and stuff. It's really weird. This COVID is just a source unknown. <laughs> I don't, it's, can you still say the word now or just what what word does youtube not like it when you say the word covid i don't know yeah. I, it's a fact of life yeah yeah it's not like i'm talking about they just don't like you repeating nonsense or saying well, misinformation misinformation exactly it sounds like a drag queen hi i'm misinformation but uh at least you know Hey, we're not getting paid by Russia, so we're still I, here. I, I went down today and got my vaccine. You know, and I used to be totally 100% pro-vaccine, but my son's really had a bad reaction. Mm. And um, I just said, that's fine. I, I don't push them to get... They've had one or two, mm -hmm. maybe. But uh, my youngest, he was just so sick. And I said, nope. I never get sick. I get the vaccines. I'm fine. Yeah. Well, so listen, I want to tell everybody before we begin that, uh, as you know, I'm not doing any more readings at the Chicago event. I'll be giving away some free readings after I'm done in December with readings. And I won't be so overwhelmed. Probably during the year, I'll tend to do more live events where people can call in and I can answer questions for them. Okay. Maybe you could join me in one of those. But yeah. Arthur is, I've had a reading with him, you guys. And Jeannie Dixon went to Jeannie you. Dixon. Yes. Jean Dixon went to you yeah. to have a reading. I can see why. Well, actually, it was, we work for the same magazine. And she was reading my articles. 
And I was in New York at the time and I got a call that said, Jean wants to meet with you. She's looking for a writer to work on a children's advice column for New oh. York Times Syndicate. So I went down to Washington, met with her. It was, we're talking about 1988. And so first thing out of her mouth was, you have a twin sister like I do. Which and she is, didn't, yeah. She didn't know anything about me. And, um, but she knew my writing. So, um, so then she said, let me see your hands. I'm like, okay. She says, look at all the stars. You know what this means, don't you? I have stars too, yeah. And I said, and she showed me her hands and we're talking. I said, they're looking at this odd. We're here for a New York Times syndicate meeting. <laughs> so after the meeting, she just said, come to my townhouse. I've cleared off the rest of my day. She so, was always pretty busy, right? Oh, yeah. So How old was she when she died, by the way? In her 90s. Oh, good. So she lived to be nice and old. Yeah. And um, basically, well, I went, she told me when to get there. I got there a little early. And there was like, she had like a whole room full of these Japanese businessmen that she was working with. And they all marched out. And then she said, come on. And um, then she said, look. Was she I a have... Gemini? Was she a Gemini? Uh, Capricorn. Capricorn, okay. Um, I she just looked at me and said, "You know what? I don't know if this is this article thing is going to happen or not, but I knew I had to meet you. I had to talk to you, and this is one way to do it." That's wonderful. I and said the same thing to Gerard Butler, and he didn't take my invitation. What the what the f is going on there? Well, it was because I had that mask from like uh, you know Friday the Thirteenth on. <laughs> I told him, just come to my house. Then I get the dogs out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> but she was very kind and kept in touch with me, you know, here and there. Not like all the time, but every once in a while, I would leave her a note and she'd call me back and stuff like that. And last time I talked to her, she was um, um, getting ready to do an episode of The Golden Girls, I think. So it was kind of fun. It was on their show? I think so. She said she was talking about it. I never really watched it, so I don't know. I mean, I didn't see an episode with her, but she was talking. Uh -huh. And, uh, but no, she was fascinating. And, you know, she just came from a very staunch Catholic family. Uh -huh. And they knew she was gifted. She'd know who was going to call, who's going to stop by, you know, all that kind of stuff when she was a kid. And they didn't know what to do. And so they took her to the Jesuit priests. And she said, the Jesuits taught me everything I know about astrology and being a psychic. I love it. But no days, but she was they, didn't have, they didn't have the word psychic. Yes. You were either medium or astrologer. Yeah. And she said, the best books on the planet are at the Vatican and not everyone, not everyone's going to see them. Yes. She got to see them. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But I mean, she, you know, and then you put it away. You have that meeting and, you know, I told her about the nuns flicking holy water on me in Catholic school when I was a kid and I tell them things and blah, 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 blah. And my father used to say, I thought, I always say it for the first five years of my life, I thought my name was stop doing that. Because I walk up to people, start talking to them. My father would like pick me up. We'd end up in the parking lot and go, stop doing that. <laughs> so you put it away. But then, you know, you know things, but then you get recognized by Gene. It was like, then I forget. And then my friends right. often remind me, she sought you out. Yeah. And there have been a couple of other things that have approached me. That's so, great. yeah. But I'm telling you, I'm having a blast here on YouTube. And I thank you and Mel for inviting me into the family. Oh, thank you, honey. Well, we're have, glad, happy to have you. Yeah. I don't have any friends. This was supposed to be the Monday with Mel, but I had to switch it to today. And, uh, he was very kind. He didn't say, wow. Well, I have no life, so what? <laughs> you just watch the Wheel of Fortune on yeah. YouTube. Oh, I like Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, a Merv Griffin production. Yeah, God look boss Merv Griffin. His family, whoever gets residuals, is making book. His son. Is it his son? Yeah. Did he adore his son? Yeah. But he even he even wrote the theme song dun 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 for uh his son or Mel I mean Merv Merv 
Yeah, he, what a what a genius. That was one Jeopardy of, and 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 Wheel of Fortune. My my claim to fame will be my double wide JC Penny's underwears <laughs> with matching suitcase. <laughs> At least they don't have a T on them. <laughs> I've been saying when we have the debate tonight, she should just stop midstream and go, "What's that smell?" <laughs> well. As I've been saying, I hope she doesn't mop the floor with him because it's going to look like a toilet overflowed. Well, I'm going to give you a little tidbit of a hit that the guides gave me, and I'm going to do a short video myself to tell my people. But um, um, they all of a sudden they're saying they're tied again and all this, you know. And I breathe through it and I ask the, the guides, you know, what's going on? And they said, they said that this is this this is not true. It's not true what we're hearing, and that it will be by a landslide that she wins. That's what they keep telling me. Well, when I asked my guides about tonight how Trump's going to be, they keep on showing me a toaster with toast okay. popping out. He's going to be toast. <laughs> right. I just could feel when I try to look at it. You know, but the thing is, that I, I lost a little bit of my confidence when we thought for sure Biden was going to do a good job. Oh, and yeah. He didn't. So I'm like, guys, you know, give me a, a vision or something. And I could just see everybody talking about Kamala and saying what a great job she did. I saw excitement with everybody. Not that, oh, you know how it was with Biden. Like, what did I just see? I saw a train wreck. Yeah. God bless him. He, you know, he's a great man, if he had started great the, if he had started the by just saying, Hey folks, I'm under the weather, but I'm still here. Yeah, and then he couldn't get that idiot to stop lying and shut up. Yeah, and then Dana Donna Bash, whatever her name is, told him, Okay, next question. Like shut him off. Yeah. But it's gonna be interesting tonight. I do feel that. She's not going to hold back. I I feel like she's going to really out, outline some stuff that he's lying about, like killing babies and stuff like that. But she'll definitely get into what she's uh she's definitely going to get into what the format is of what she's looking at for the future. Right. I'm gonna tell you something else, and I'm going to tell my peoples. And by the way, I'm going to do a show with Andre. He'll give us last minute chart aspects, but uh. She, um, the, the other thing is not only is she, I just lost my thought. Doggone it. I get the disease that Trump has. It's called CRS. Can't oh. remember. Oh, uh, Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson, it's another oh. burger. I'm going to tell you, even his own people. I said this when I did the show. I said, the problem with what he's trying to present is I see his own people saying, dude, we can't do this. We don't. We need the votes, and if we do this, our people won't vote for us. Are you talking about the the shutdown? Yeah, yeah. If they if they do a shutdown, they lost big time. They don't like what they're presenting. What Trump presented that you, we demand that you do this and with voting and all. Not f you. And Biden even said it's it's dead on it dead on a rim. And even Hakeem Jeffrey said this is nonsense. Yeah. Maybe not that word, but he used other words. But, but maybe Marjorie Taylor Greene will be so mad that he didn't push it enough that it didn't get through. Because I'm almost feeling somebody's going to try to put him up again to be taken out. Well, I've always felt Hakeem Jeffries. I always felt like he would get in the election. before. Yeah. So then this time, instead of standing for Johnson like the Democrats did, oh, this no. time they're going to vote for Hakeem. And it, maybe enough Republicans are tired of this that say, yeah, just let Hakeem come in. Yeah. Well, I originally, when they first announced Mike Johnson, my prediction was he'd be gone or someone's going to come down in May. Yeah. But then the scuttlebutt would start in the end of January and February. And that's when Marjorie Taylor Greene started all her stuff. Yeah. And there, there was back in May. He almost lost it, but he, the Democrats saved him. Yeah. So. This well, is, I'm going to tell you, they will fluid. find out beyond a reasonable doubt, 
people like Ron Johnson, Marjorie Taylor Greene, all of them are been bought and paid for by Russia. Oh, yeah. And do you hear about what Tim Pool, that number one? Yeah, and I heard he's thing? still saying stuff, right? Well, his latest one was, remember how he's saying that Ukraine was the enemy of the United States and all this, blah, blah, yes. blah. Now we turn around and said, Ukraine is the greatest ally this country could have. Oh, yeah. You need to send them $200 billion. And did you see Putin even said he's he's for Kamala? I don't know if he really said that, but that's the, the word. I know how an elector is. <laughs> I mean, he probably look at Trump, so that's too I don't much think she's for me. going to spend a lot of time stabbing Trump. A lot of people want her to stab him, but I don't know. She's, she's going to, she's just going to, I feel what I kept on seeing was him saying these outrageous things, trying to bait her and her just keep on ignoring him, which even makes him more furious. Right. That's, that's what I was reading. So we'll she see. definitely will be firm on what he lies about. The big ones. The one, the biggest one is this, uh, this taxer. What is it called? The, uh, uh, he said he's going to tax or do something with foreign countries. Oh, tariffs. Yeah, he's got it all wrong. He's going to he's going to raise money out of tariffs to pay for child support. But the thing is, is that people don't realize that what he's saying is going to cost them. It's not. It's not going to cost the other countries. It's going to cost us. I mean, when he gave that answer about child support or helping children, it was like sit down child care yeah child care he's like the crazy uncle at the end of the table you throw food at so he sits up and eats well these republicans they don't want lunches for the kids forget about it they don't they don't gonna do do anything with gun control so these poor babies are being killed but a 12 year old don't you dare get rid of that fetus oh i know it's like they're banning books but not guns i know it's nuts it's just gonna it's all gonna change back that's what i feel oh, yeah it's not gonna Especially happen on the way it's gonna take once a kamala time. gets in there and we would and i think your down votes are gonna win i really do i think it's gonna be a good number to where they can even turn around and well she's and, also been yeah. sending money to other candidates where trump's been keep hoarding it no he charges them if they talk about him in their campaign he charges them 20 percent they got to pay him. Well, I can't wait till that Carrie Lake loses. Oh, she's going to lose. And I, there have been questions that asked about Ted Cruz. I think he's going to lose. Yeah. And the fact that Liz Cheney is <laughs> going for Colin. Yeah. It's crazy. But uh, as your, it. as your friend, uh, Feldman, is it? David Feldman. David. Oh, I, by the way, I did pay to go to his party tonight. Oh, good. He's having a watch party. Yeah. Three dollars, I think it is. Uh, but, you know, he's funny. He's just crazy funny. I know when he was describing Ch Cheney as the uh, <laughs> the four former vice president war monger or whatever it was. It was yeah. like, whoa. He laid out the truth about him. He said, I'll tell you what, just get Cheney to take Trump out for some hunting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that whole thing about people are eating kitties and... Oh, the Haitians. And it's even, just a lie. And, and Jake somebody on, on one of those social media showed his sons with dead elephants and tigers. and Oh, yeah. No, no. You can't do that. And then Ted Cruz put out this meme of two cute little kittens... Yeah. Said vote for Trump. Don't let the Haitians eat us. I mean, I felt like putting up a meme of two pregnant women holding each other. Vote for Kamala so we don't die. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's an idiot, but don't worry. No. I think you're going to be surprised by some of these wins. Can't, Florida is desperately trying to stop everybody. But well, I'm seeing... Rick Scott is going around talking about the whole thing about, oh, they crush a baby's head at when it comes out born. So oh, you know, nine months. It's like. 
Oh, and then they'll let it live for up to six days before they kill. That's murder. Yeah. Or they won't feed it, you know, or whatever. It's like. And by the way, if your kid is in school and goes to the nurse, they're going to do a sex change operation on them. Oh, that's what Trump is talking about. But people do believe it. We we know it's ridiculous. Obviously, they don't realize that they don't do any transitional surgeries after 18, number one. Number two, they have to go through a lot of psychology, psychiatrist, all the stuff. Oh, I know. It's not just like, you know, going to a tailor and getting something snipped. <laughs> I went to the Moyo. He took too much off. My, ah. name, my name's Samantha now. But people actually believe that a high school would take. I know it's not. Well, they keep on talking about kids having kitty litter boxes. Yeah. In the classrooms, little Furbies. And it's just like, where do they get this stuff from? You're not allowed to bring animals in a classroom. No, they were talking about kid, little kids dressing up as cats. What? Furbies and then them using litter boxes in school. Oh my god! Oh my god! I know it's it's. It, I'm not making this stuff up. I'm not that warped. Well, I'm not, I'm not that warped. And the craziest things I've ever heard are from Trump. I never witnessed any of this. Well, I think we're here to answer some questions. Yes, let's do that. Okay. Uh, here's one from Jitterbug. Two two, yay jitterbug jitterbug. Hello, amazing Arthur and Miss Beautiful Linda or Ms. Beautiful Linda. Does the thug have a secret pocket pardon for himself? Thanks for your wonderful collabs. <laughs> does he have a secret pardon? No. He thinks he does, and I think he thinks brain. he does, but I see no. Listen, let me tell you guys something, okay? He's going to cross before. He it comes to the full enchilada, which is sad because you everybody wants to see him go down. But I see so much happening. He I don't think he'll last much longer. Well, the very first show I did with you he might even try to escape. Yeah, but how can you escape when you're handcuffed to a gurney? Yeah. But we did have a question. Hello, Arthur and Linda, two two loving souls. When Harris wins and Trump is losing, will the two boys, Eric and Junior, be in trouble? Do they oh, have yeah. dirty hands and will they be in serious trouble? Yes, absolutely. And Jared Kushner, he's big trouble, you guys. Huge. And you have to add this to your prayer list, J.B. O'Brien. Loan Bogart is running for Congress in my district. Pray for me, please. I don't think she'll win, but I don't get her winning wow. either. I was shocked she was voted even to be able to be running. I love the fact that they asked her to do a debate and it was the same theater she got kicked out of at Beetlejuice. <laughs> that was uh, when she turned around and said, Don't you know who I am? If I was working as it, unfortunately, we do. Yeah, and then it's like she's all for American families. <sighs> Um, Mary asks, hello, Lyndon Arthur, is the fact that the media is not talking about Trump's dementia going to affect Kamala in November? The media is not talking about it. No. I, th I thought the New York Times just put out something on that. All of a sudden, they're changing their tune. They're saying he's getting, he's looking like he's, he's decrepit, he's getting dementia. You have to be Mr. Magoo not to see it. Yeah. I mean, it's really bad. He's going into full force. In fact, he'll let it really happen once he loses. He'll turn into a cray cray when, when Jack Smith comes after him. That's going to be fun. I'm going to invest in a popcorn company. <laughs> You know, the biggest pizza day in the United States was the OJ Chase. And pizza, pizza, pizza people all over the world make tons of money on that. God, the slow so, chase. Watching these things, it's really good. And I, may I say, I'm glad uh, Judge Marchand 
put it on hold. Oh. Because that's agree. less stress for him. Because if he said even you're on probation or house jail or something, all it, it would have made people feel sorry for Trump. And also he gets then he gets to play victim. Yeah. Get off the cross. We need the wood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crazy Shark 22. Will the YouTubers tied to Russia face any consequences? Yep. I know so many following them. Yeah. Yep. They're, they're actually going to be taken down. There's some that are already, but there's more to come, by the way. This is the, I, I just said in my show, I said this is the tip of the iceberg. Tip oh, yeah. of the iceberg. Because now it's going to get down and trickle down, and we're going to find out who in the House government. And, and government and everything are getting paid by Russia. Well, there's the guy that was hired by the Trump, was it Trump administration? Was hired to check about Russia interfering with the election. Oh. By the way, he was just arrested for working for Russia. <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I remember growing up where, remember the movie, the Russians are coming, the Russians are coming? Yeah. You know, and stuff like that. Or like, Dr. Strangelove, where it was us against the Russians. And now it's like, what, Russians are best friend? They're the victim? Well, uh, Ukraine is hitting inside Russia now. Yeah. And uh, and they were showing all the Russians going into the bunkers. The people that built those bunkers, it's made out of re-something concrete. And there's no, bot, what do you call that, Ubar or something? Oh, can you put me on pause, please? And we're back. Um, we had a little bit of an upset. Somebody was pounding on no, Somebody was pounding on my door and asked me to call nine one one because a car across the street. Some young girl was beating on this woman in the car, and uh, she didn't have her phone on her. She was out for a walk, so we called nine one one. Arthur was right in the middle of the epicenter. He got to hear all the gossip. Mm -hmm. But the lady, when she saw that this gal was saying call nine one one, she took off. But I talked to the police officer and I said, hey, listen, I got cameras all through my house. If you if you need to take a look, see. But call first so I get my hair done. And of course, I have to go get my chartreuse negligee <laughs> and fix a fix a pot of coffee for the officers. <laughs> just yeah. And the, just the facts, ma'am. Just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need to hear your life story, ma'am. Just the facts. Or I tell clients sometimes they go on, like, step away from the car, please. <laughs> so I don't know where we were, but here's a good question. Looking forward to this. What do you two, what do the two of you see for Super Magas, Jim Jordan and James Comer after we turn the country blue? Will either of or both of them do jail time? Jim Jordan and James. Jim Jordan. I and the, yeah, they're definitely in trouble. I don't know what you saw, but I've been seeing. Oh, listen, yeah. after Trump loses, okay, and they start really going in, Jack Smith, when he gets Trump on, up there between the biggest event that's going to occur for Trump is the stealing of our national records. Yeah, That's huge. But the other one is January 6th. I've been telling people, Jack Smith has a stack of subpoenas raised to go. I'm seeing like like 200. I'm telling you. And these people are in trouble. And can I say, they know it. And can I say, that's one of the reasons they're desperate for Trump to win. Yeah. But also, Jim Jordan never showed up for his, you know, his subpoena. Yeah. Yet they went after Hunter Biden. I know. Oh, don't. Oh, you know what? Can I tell you? I don't know. I don't think his dad will. Will. Uh. Pardon him? Uh, well, uh, pardon him, but I see Kamala pardoning him. You yeah. know why? Because anybody else, if his name hadn't been Biden, none of this would have been an issue. Right. And if his last name was Trump, we would have never heard about it. Yeah. Until afterwards when Jack Smith hired another subpoena. Right, right. But um, yeah, I got entertainment purposes only, but I get Jim Jordan and James Comer being on someone's payroll. Yeah. There's big trouble between Russia, which you even said that's huge. Mm -hmm. 
But we always knew that to be the case. Listen, they're bombing Russia right now, which is, they accidentally hit some buildings, they, so they say. They were looking for some defense strategies. Because mm -hmm. Ukraine isn't really the type to blow up civilians. But, oh, and I was telling you that those, those bomb shelters, they're showing people stopping yeah. and running to the bomb shelters. They're made out of recycled concrete and no bar. Or, I, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. No, that stuff that keeps it in play. They Mortar? said if a bomb actually hit it, it would totally collapse. Oh, no. These poor rush. And listen, now that they're getting a taste of what Ukraine's going through. I'm telling you, I've been seeing Putin get, I think before the end of the year, between Putin and uh, Netanyahu, they'll both be husbands. Well, I've always felt that after April of this year, Putin was on borrowed time. Okay. And I always joke, but I'm joking, but not. When I say, I've seen the inside his own people taking him out. Well, what I always saw was, and I put it this way, my favorite movies. One of them is the Mortar on Air Express with Lauren Bacall, and Putin has his own little train. Okay. So to me, that means assassination or falling out of first floor window, as Mel would say. Yeah. This is an interesting one. Elizabeth asks, is Nate Silver getting paid by Russia to spread false polling information? He is skewing polling data to show 45 being the winner. I get shady vibes from him. Yeah, absolutely. 100% guaranteed. A lot of this stuff that even our guy, David Feldman, is saying, oh, it's really close. No, it's not. No, it's not. And whatever you do, don't listen to the New York Times. Mm -mm. They, they, they did a percentage of women. 87% of women are going to be voting for her. 90% uh, of the Black, Black and Mexicans. And uh, the youth, it's huge. Mm -hmm. 67 or 70% of youth. Well, they're energized now. Before they would, they, they didn't care. Yeah, it's like, a, it's going to be like an Obama thing. It's going to be huge. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm... You no, know, it's how they make their money. That's how they make their money. Is talking, fearing, you know, it's going to be close, which, you know, I... You know, I, I give it, I'm glad that they're saying that so people will be scared and go out to vote. But also don't, don't piss on our leg and tell us it's raining. No, that's called trickle down in um, economics. <laughs> I think she's just really going to come off super smart at that debate. Polished. But all he needs to do is call her a name. And, and I see him making those faces, you know. How you know he wants to. You know how he makes those faces, those ridiculous faces? I see him making those faces. At least they're not going to let him walk around like he did stalking yes. uh, Hillary Clinton. Or Hillary. They should have stopped that right away. Stalker. That's why poor Hillary, she should have stopped and said, what's that smell? Well, yeah. Could somebody get him to change his diaper, please? It reminds me of a book called Lord of the Flies. Yeah, I haven't read that. I read that years ago. No, I'm just talking about flies flying around him. Oh. <laughs> so do they even allow Lord of the Flies on the book thing now or no? I don't know what they allow. They're busy banning books all the time. The one that got me was Rosa Parks when they said it was just a misunderstanding. Oh, no, but then they turned around and, and then they took the book off. Said, you need to stop the, the Bible. Yeah. Well, I I forget whose YouTube channel it was. They walk up to people and say, well, it's the Bible. And they said, well, what do you think about two daughters getting their father drunk and having sex with him to have a child? That's disgusting. Well, it's in the Bible. It's Lot and his wife. You know, Lot turned in, his wife turned into a pillar of salt. So that they went to the cave with them, their father. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Yeah. But um, it's. Do you think he's going to entertainment purposes only? Do you think he's going to be like on some type of aid, like pill or something? Trump medication tonight. Oh, I'm sure he already is. 
trying to sort himself out. Um, he's definitely not going to let anybody know his his health business, but but he by the time he loses, it's going to be really bad. Yeah. There was another earthquake. Hold on. Let's see where is it. Three point four earthquake, Northern California. Oh, not they didn't say where. North is rather big. Yeah, people forget that. People ask me, "Are you okay?" And it's like they're talking about the San Bernardino, which is like seven or eight hours away. Yeah, but the the Clear Lake, I understand because that is about an hour away. Yeah, you know, I'm just like a half hour from Silver Lake and Silver Lake. But yeah, but um, here's an interesting one from Beth Hunt. Hello, wise ones. In Missouri. Hi, thank you. Yes. Our abortion initiative has been deemed, quote, in blatant violation of state requirements by a judge. It's been appealed to the Supreme to State Supreme Court and is waiting a date. Will it survive? Now, what is this called again? In Missouri, their abortion initiative has been deemed in blatant violation of state requirements by a judge. It seems like they're trying to get rid of the uh, initiative. Yeah. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't see a lot of these like Missouri backwoods type places. I see the federal government going in saying Roe versus Wade is back on the books. Yeah, I get that too. Uh, CISA asks, are we ever going to get to a point where mainstream media starts calling out Dumpty's lies? Oh, yeah. Especially after he loses, it's going to be a whole list of things that it was terrible. And when a lot of the Russia stuff comes out. Yeah. He's just so in love with Putin and Netanyahu. Not, and not Netanyahu as much as uh, Kim Jong-un. I'm waiting for his daughter to take him out so she can start ruling again. Ivanka? No, no, no. Um, it's Kim Jong Un's daughter. I mean, that's how oh. the, that's how he got in power. He, he, got he took his brother out. Yeah. yeah. I heard she's just as vicious as him. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was North Korea's birthday. These people have been living under starving and living under this regime forever. Poor as can be, he keeps them poor and starving. Yeah. And then if you do something wrong, they'd only put you in jail, your entire family. Yeah. So it's under constant threat and fear. That's um, Grim, I like this name, Grimm's Karmic Adventures. Cool. Hi, Lyndon Arthur. Many see Colin Allred, John Tester, Lucas Kuntz, and Gloria Johnson in Tennessee winning their respective Senate seats. However, given the amount of underhanded shenanigans Republicans are committing, do you feel they still have a chance? Absolutely, because they're the down ballot and people will be at the polls for Kamala and that's going to give a big back push, even though they try to screw with some. And listen, check your, your voting because a lot of people said I voted in Georgia for 40 some odd years. All of a sudden I looked it up. He wasn't even worried about it. And he says, I'm off the polls. So I have to go down there and say, what the hell did you do? Wow. Well, California, we should be getting ours next month. I don't know. In the mail. As soon as I get it, though, I'm filling it out and sending it in. Yeah. So and I like here in California because I'll tell you, we received your, your thing mm -hmm. and it's been counted. Yeah, it's you have a little code. To By the way, thank you for the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> the marijuana cookies. <laughs> yeah. Linda, those aren't dots. <laughs> <laughs> They're gummies. They're gummies. <laughs> uh, Julia... Julianne Wells or Julianette Wells asks, how will Republican voters, independent voters, and undecided voters react to Republicans trying to shut the government down, which we talked about earlier? They'll lose. 
the lose. And listen, the, there's two factors here. Some of the stuff they're asking for in there that Mike Johnson and Trump are asking for is absolutely, they even smell that it's ridiculous. But they they need to win in their with their constituents and they don't need any shutdown, that's for sure. No. It's like the worst time for them to ask this. But they somebody just talked on some show, the news, that they don't have enough uh, Republicans to vote for this, to pa even pass it. Good. But like I said, if he doesn't push it, I wouldn't doubt Marjorie Taylor Greene says, we want him off. And then that's when that's the Democrats' chance to throw uh, our we'll guy in there. Off and put in Hakeem Jeffries. Yeah. A lot of the questions are repeats, so we're pretty yeah. well, you know, we're pretty well done with them. Oh, well, that was fun. Yeah. So, so what about you, what do you think of me? I think you're fabulous. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I'll give you my PayPal information so you can send Right me. answer, yeah. right answer. Ah! I'm not on PayPal. So, well, tonight's a big night. We yeah. should be together again soon, sooner than later so we can d discuss details. Maybe well, this weekend? I think it's going to be fun. And I'm anxious to see what you and Andre talk about today. Yeah, Andre and I are at one. So um, I need to get off so I can... I'm diabetic and I have not eaten yet. So I need to eat something because I'm seeing like dead people right now. That's because you have eaten, but that's another story. All right. Well, everyone, as always, it's such a delight to be with Linda. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm so glad you can edit and cut out me having to run and help that lady call a 911. Oh, no, I'm going to keep it in there. You got to yeah. tell me to edit it out. No, 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 no. I'll do that. And I'm also going to put my, my little intro for the two of us in there, too. Okay. So, sounds cool. Thank you. All right, you All right everybody. So take care. Uh, and let me know when today. it goes up so I can uh, share it in my community chat page. Sure. Okay. Honey. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.